yeah, things like that. One way you can tell if somebody has dementia, you kind of you take them out of their normal setting, and what happens to them? They present theirs. No, but what happens to them? Panic. Okay. When you take them out of their routine, what happens to them? They're not able to hide their signs and symptoms. Either. Right, but what happens to them? I'm talking just anecdotally. But they start freaking out. Is, they start freaking out. I mean, really, I mean, it can be little things. Like going over to a relative's house and say, hey, Grandma, I'm going to make you breakfast. I'm going to make you pancakes. And she starts going, no, no, no. I always have oatmeal. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. These things like that. Mm -hmm. They get these patterns built, this familiarity that kicks in. Vascular mm -hmm. dementia is going to be caused by what? Uh, I'm guessing the vessels in your brain start okay. to atrophy. So you get decreased blood flow in the brain. Mm -hmm. Decrease or increase? Decrease. Decrease, okay. Frontal temporal dementia, this is a little weird one. That's the one that makes them mean? Huh? That's the one that makes them mean? Yeah. Um, I think makes them and that could be the atrophy from from uh, Alzheimer's. Like, don't those two go together, dementia and Alzheimer's? Well, the, actually, a lot of times you two go together too. Oh yeah. What is? I, I, I'm gonna this up. I forgot. I read up on it, but now I must be mad. Honey is disease is what? Oh. It's a genetic disorder. I can't remember that. How genetic disorder? You might know what it is. I don't remember. Huntington. So, glycosinolipid storage disorder. Whoa. So, that down. Okay, say it again and slowly. Glycosinolipid storage disorder. Glyco. Lipid. Sphenolipid. It's a lipid storage disorder. You start, you can't break down, you can't break down lipids inside of the neurons. And what happens over time? Build up. They build up and the cells start running. Huntington's disease is always fatal. It's onset, the problem with Huntington's disease, it doesn't present until you're about 30. Whoa. Wow. So before that, a lot of tests and genetic testing, and back in, let's say, the early 1900s, how would you know? If your father died at 30, back then, would you know he died at Huntington's disease? No. So, so what, what is, how does it present itself? What are the... Uh, same thing, just same type of loss disorder. Oh, it's uh, like a dementia? Yeah, because you cell start dying off. Uh, what's this? You always talk about it, I can't Prions. remember. Prions. That's the mat no, no, mecca. Sorry, that's the CJG, which is the. Huh? It's human mad cow disease, isn't yeah. it? Well, no, no, it's. it's well, yeah, it's a prion disease. It's a prion disease. Okay. okay. So mad cow disease is called variant. Yeah, variant. Oh. CKG. But that's when humans get it. No, they only um you can get CJ CJD um many ways uh, inherited um I either inherited, inherited? or sporadically uh, randomly or variant by eating mad cow disease. Variant is mad cow disease when you get spongiform bovine spongiform encephalopathy. Yeah. Which is you eat it from mad cow. But you can randomly get it. You can, yeah, just randomly develops a particular percentage of the population. That's scary. You know, that's Can they treat scary. it? No. No, no treatment, no diagnosis, no term on um, incept, uh, incubation period. They don't know anything about this. Thing. There's another one out there now called, anybody a hunter here? Like MSA or something? You chronic wasting disease? Oh, the chronic The zombie deer disease? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's yeah, another that's three on this. They actually think there might be more than dark. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pick a couple of topics from here so we can move on. But I want you to give you some homework on it. Oh, right here, Alzheimer's. Here are the beta amyloid plaques. Here are those cow fibers. And that's homework? No, not yet. I'll oh. Uh, okay, so we're stopping here, right? Okay, never mind. Alzheimer's, two things, one. Short term memory loss. What, what is one of the symptoms of dementia? We'll just go through this. We'll talk about it anymore. Um, what, what goes first? Memory. Short term memory. Short term or long term? Short. Short. Short term memory first one first. So what do these patients also start talking about all the time? Family, like, uh, with my grandma, she kept reminding herself of her children's names. She kept, like, yeah. saying them over and over. Their early childhood. Yeah, early life and stuff. Stuff that's back there, they're all coming. All right, guys. I'm going to put some bullets in there.